The Wyoming and North Carolina Republican parties censured their respective Republican congressional leaders for supporting the impeachment of former President Donald Trump because of that insurgent attack on the U.S. Capitol building. I asked Senator Joni Ernst whether that's essentially just a GOP cancel culture mentality. That's up to those state parties. You know, I can't speak for them and I can't speak for my colleagues, but I do know my colleagues have reasons for voting the way they did. I feel very strongly about the way I voted. And what we have to do is take a look at the information that's presented to us and make the best decisions that we can based upon what we've been presented. And then of course, um, the attitudes and feelings of our constituents as well. As you were watching the during that trial and they're showing the video of the insurgents mm -hmm. attack on the on the building itself here what are you thinking as you're because you have to play out a lot of things you have to kind of take the emotional side out of this mm -hmm. and think do we convict the former president mm -hmm. did he have any role in this and then look at everything else that's happening mm -hmm. can you kind of let us in uh, how are you how do you yeah. go through this process right and and watching those videos i would say i didn't need to be shown the videos. Um, I lived through it. I was on the Senate floor when we had rioters that were um, coming into the Capitol building, trying to come into our chambers. Um, so it was a it was a horrifying day. Um, it's not one that I want to relive, and I don't want our Capitol Police to relive it. I don't want any member to ever have to go through that again. Um, so a terrifying experience. But as you said, going through, separating out the emotion and that's really hard. And it was hard for a number of our members to do that as we went through the impeachment trial and seeing that video presented right in front of us yet once again. Um, the thing is you have to separate your head from your heart. And it's hard to separate that emotion out. But for me, just simply looking at the constitutionality of it, yeah, it, it was a horrible, horrible day. But impeachment, is this the right thing for this situation? I didn't believe it was constitutional. So are you with Mitch McConnell and that if the right way would be if the legal system, the court system goes, wants to pursue and something? I do think that's the appropriate avenue is certainly to go through the, the judicial process. Um, we were tr going through this process of impeachment for a president that was no longer a sitting president. Um, so, of course, the, the alternative is to go through uh, the judicial branch, and, and that's appropriate. But had Mitch McConnell agreed to have it earlier, it would have happened while he was still president, right? Um, it is possible, but now there is some discussion and there is some disagreement on whether uh, Nancy Pelosi, if, if she had sent that over soon, Certainly it would have been a, a different scenario if he was still a sitting pres president. Then it would be constitutional. I can't say whether I would acquit or convict. Um, I don't feel that we were given a full slate of facts or a thorough investigation from, from the House. Um, but a, a different situation, but we don't know. Did Nancy Pelosi sit on those art the article of impeachment um, for a reason or a purpose? I don't know that it was rejected by Leader McConnell. When on that day, I know some of this stuff's hard to talk about, but on that day is, you know, we see the video of you sitting there and I think Senator, was Senator Langford, was he was the one? Was in front of me. His desk is in front of me. So and mm -hmm. I'm assuming you don't know what's happening, do you, at this point? I, I did shortly after okay. that um, because Senator Langford was speaking. Everyone was receiving text messages that rioters had broken into the Capitol building. And I did have a friend that was watching the proceedings on TV that said, Joni, he said, I saw your eyes were going back and forth. You were scanning the chamber. And he said, I knew there was something going on um, just by the way you looked. Well, well that's what I was yeah. going to ask you. Sorry to interrupt you. But mm -hmm. you are, as a trained member of the National Guard, mm -hmm. do you, I would assume you view this a little differently as if you were just a citizen senator who had never had any kind of that background. I mean, don't you have some instincts that are kind of kicking in? From your National Guard training? Yes, but I, I can tell you it's it was a terrifying experience, but at the same time, of course, with my training, I'm not the one in control in that chamber. It is the sergeant at arms. 
Um, they know the proper evacuation routes. They know the emergency responses. So the best thing to do in that situation is to remain calm and wait for orders coming from the Capitol Police and the Sergeant at Arms. Because when we are in that chamber, we can't see visually what's going on and where those rioters are. And the way I've described it to other people too is that you could hear the shouts echoing through the various hallways of the Capitol. I couldn't really tell at that point where those rioters were, what door they were outside. So the important thing is just to remain calm, take your orders, follow those orders. So we did that, we had to wait until Capitol Police had cleared an exit for us and a way for us to safely get through the tunnels and into our, our designated safe spot. What's Donald Trump's future in the party? You know, I still think that he will some way or another be a player with the Republican Party, but I don't know what that is, and he will, he will have to make those decisions on what it is. But as we're looking towards the future of the Republican Party, I think we have a really bright future. And it, if you look around at some of these extraordinary leaders that we have that are up and coming, there's gonna be a lot of competition for the race in 2024. I'm just excited to see how it unfolds. And you're not in it. You no, said. no, Dave. <laughs> you know there was talk that, hey, would you look at this? Um, you know, I, again, my commitment is to the United States Senate, and I love the work I do for the people of Iowa, and I'm, I'm very happy doing what I do. Up next, her broken down car and her daughter's big news.